Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we are with a Leap Motor C10 and in this video it's all about multimedia system and digital cockpit. So I will explain you how the function work and what setting you have and what options you have and you don't have. So if you want to buy this car, if you want to see this car, you can know before what to expect. Basically the first information is like that. Sadly the car doesn't come with Android Auto Apple CarPlay for those of you that want to use that. But the good part is that the the multimedia system and the navigation system it's very complex and it's very good so you basically don't need to connect it in order to use other settings otherwise very good visibility from the driver point of view you have a pretty good visibility through the steering wheel which is great and also here on the right side on the 14.6 uh, inch screen you have a good visibility it's basically almost the same as on tesla model 3 and wide but it's a little bit smaller just slightly slightly smaller not big difference but this one here it's a pretty big screen and it's great that on the digital cockpit you have a lot a lot of informations which you can get for example you have the lights information you have the speed information the traffic signs you have also the different drive mode and down here you can see in which mode you are you can see the tank you can see the battery you can see the total range here on the right side the different driving mode the temperature the kilometers the time and here on this side you can basically configure it uh, in three ways you can see the map sadly you can see the map only on this area and it's quite sadly that you cannot see it all over the screen but the good part is that in the middle here where you see the car when you're driving you can see the lanes you can see what happened around the car like like on the tesla cars you can see for example the lane when you activate the lane assist and yeah it's it's pretty nice then you can also configure the right side to see the media you can see the speed and what happened with the energy in real time when you use energy when you recuperate energy you will see here a bar with orange and green and you can see the net consumption uh, and it's pretty much simple you can also configure it for those buttons here on the steering wheel and also from here physical button which is very good here on the right side we have the screen which you can of course uh, make it dark completely dark or bright in the daytime so you can uh, in the nighttime yeah you can move it so uh, you can switch it so it doesn't bother you the cool part is that you have also those backgrounds kind of wallpapers which you can choose and you can switch between those two they are also moving and it's it's pretty nice it's kind of a nice add-on and unique add-on to the to the screen to the multimedia screen in comparison with other cars on the upper side you have here the possibility to add a username so you can save all the settings you can lock and unlock the car you see the message from the car and settings um, then you have the bluetooth then here you can see the connection uh, you can connect your phone to bluetooth of course even though android auto app may not work you can connect the car to wi-fi for example which is great and here on the left side you have different other information traction control and yeah of course you have the uh, connectivity then if you slide from up down just like that you will open a page where you have all the shortcuts i really love that i ho i hope in the future many cars will add this because when you slide from up down you have a lot of shortcuts and shortcuts for example the different drive mode and also up here you can choose between sport comfort and custom mode which is great and easy then you have the screen off you have the tailgate you have auto hold function you have the fuel cap you can open it from here you have windows locks adjustment on the mirrors uh, rear uh, fog lamp and so on and you can also customize this the same as you can customize it on your uh, apple iphone you can customize it also here which is fantastic i really like that very easy to understand very easy to use in general the software is very easy to understand and to use on the lower end down here you have always on the screen those buttons and those functions from volume here are the seats so for example you have ventilation on your seats you can adjust it from here you have heated seats here for example you can adjust the position of the seats um, then here you have the, the position or the air if you want to recirculate inside or outside or auto you have defrosting you have also vents on and off 
and you have of course here in the middle the climatic system you can turn it on you can choose also the position of those vents because you cannot choose it or adjust it manually you have to adjust it from the screen which is great but you have all the settings here of the climatic system very easy and very simple to understand on the left side you have the 360 degrees camera which you can see also around the rims a little bit wider or you can go in a 3d way so you can see what's going on around the car very useful good then you have the media shortcut for the music you have the navigation which is super good and it's mo it's moving really quick it doesn't have a lag so it's yeah i would say it's between the best on the market and also if you want to set a destination you can find a lot of points of interest around you like restaurant parking lots gas stations uh, leap motor uh, yeah where you have services and so on and if you search for uh, for example for charging stations you can see how many how many how many you can find around here super super good stuff and you can choose also between different areas it shows you also the traffic on the map and it's great it's one of the the best i would say navigation i like it then if you go to the next one here are the main settings the most important settings of the car and you start from here from the left side with lights for example here are all the settings of the lights so you have the headlights you can put it on auto you have the fog lamps automatic high beam intelligent lights you have interior lights here for example if you want to turn it on and off plus the car have some ambient lights which look really good in the night time so you can see the video that i did in the night time with the c10 lip motor c10 effects here static monochrome uh, flashing or flashing multicolor and then you have here the display area entire car front rear ambient light effect music a rhythm effect on the ambient light this is great and it's easy to understand i like the graphic that it's easy to understand and you can learn it fast here you have the doors and window settings you can change it from here you have the charging the car have vehicle to load you can send energy to other electronics here you have the driving features the most important features you can change the drive mode here it shows you also a comparison between the drive mode it shows you the different energy mode and EV plus EV fuel or fuel plus so you can switch between those two you can also save energy for later and then you have the other settings here like creep mode auto hold electric uh, electronic stability control hill descent and comfortable stop it's you know, about the brake and then some other settings here you have others and all the safety features from lane centering assist intelligent speed over speed warning you have also forward collision warning, lane assist, you have blind spot detection, door opening warning, rear collision warning, rear cross traffic alert, distraction warning because you have a sensor there. So many safety features on the car. Here you have image assist, vehicle startup assist, hill assist image. You have soft, uh, here you have the sound system settings, all the sound system settings. You find it around here, sound effect entire vehicle and it's it's pretty cool that you can choose like that lip motor assist this is also a kind of a voice assist if you want to use it pretty cool and then display here dark mode or day mode you can switch it in the night time so it doesn't bother you too much if you prefer it like that you can put it on auto and you can of course play with the brightness from here and then you can switch between uh, kilometer miles you can also turn on clean uh, screen clean mode and then you have the software here where you go to safety some safety features like alarm and password and so on you can set the password airbags maintenance here and service infos and then you have the general settings change the language time date software update and so on I love the fact that it's extremely easy to use go in settings you learn it quite quick and it's it's much much better than many other much more premium expensive cars on the market so in general this is it i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from this video guys don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that thank you very much to all of you that watching my videos really appreciate it. stay safe and we'll see you soon in the next one bye guys